so youtube family i'm about to just play the video and we just gonna get on with it and talk about this little cam situation that got a lot of folks you feel me i, I think it's better i play it than say it gun he was not supposed to have Cameron Joshua is not facing charges for takeoff death but the arrest is the most significant development we've seen so far in this case which is now nearly a month old ABC 13's Maya Shea is live at Green Street downtown where takeoff was killed and has the latest on what is still ahead in this case Maya well, so many people are waiting for an arrest of a murder suspect. That is not what happened today. The man in question today was here the night that takeoff was killed. And according to prosecutors, he allegedly had a weapon. But let's be clear, he is not charged with shooting anyone. Houston rapper Cameron Joshua appeared in court today on two weapons charges. He's accused of being in possession of a weapon at the scene where rapper Takeoff was killed. His attorney, though, was crystal clear on one point. Cameron Joshua did not shoot Takeoff. Attorney Christopher Downey says it's important to note that Joshua, who is on bond for two unrelated charges, is accused of having a gun but not firing at anyone. When asked if his client knew who did shoot Takeoff in the wee hours of November 1st, Downey says that's information that may or may not be shared. We We'll discuss that with the DA's office if we decide to. The intense interest in Joshua's arrest comes after a month has passed since rapper Takeoff was shot dead during a private party. Since then, rumors of who is responsible for the rapper's murder has spread across the internet, but both police and prosecutors have been tight-lipped. We believe Cameron Joshua has been appropriately charged in this case, and we're continuing our investigation into the death of takeoff. Joshua will remain behind bars until next week when a hearing will determine whether he will get a bond. Mr. Joshua was on bond for a uh, an unrelated matter, uh, uh, possessing a fake ID, and uh, the case was uh, reset to determine conditions of bond, whether he'll be held. So what, what you're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, is a case of maybe mistake. No, not mistake at all. Now, what's going on is prosecutors are doing a move, what's known as try to get information out of Cameron Joshua. Now, we'll do a separate video on that, whether Cameron folds and tell or not. But right now, we got to get on with the article because when you're doing journalism, you got to actually give out the actual information that can make people either innocent or help them in the light. Now, if you don't know what's been going on, this young man over here, little Cameron, you know, his name's been booming and going on everywhere. Now, what has been going on is his name being associated with people saying that he's the one who had something to do with Takeoff's murder. Now, a lot of people know the situation can go left, it can go right, but a lot of fans of Takeoff is saying he blamed himself. I mean, uh, they blame him, him themselves because of the trolling he did behind the scenes. Now, what I kept telling you guys is, and that made people want me to pick one, people wanted me to say he either innocent or guilty i said whoa wait a minute dj bless one doesn't do that we're not like other people who just puts allegedly on titles but say something completely different on the video now i will continue reading the articles what we do here is i tell you what i actually see i did not see him pull a trigger nor does that mean he didn't do it or he did do it i'm telling you what i seen on that camera now what i did see was what well, all y'all see him with the weapon that's why I told people don't mess up the case. Now, what they're going to do with Cam, I'm going to tell you on a separate video. Then it's going to make sense why he's still a familiar face to look at right now. You know what I mean? Now, you've seen the paperwork here when they issued his bond. They gave him a no bond because he already was on a bond from the other previous case. So since he had a weapon while being on bond, he couldn't bond himself out but it had nothing to do with the takeoff one i agree on a separate video we're going to talk about the houston situation because it's going a little bit out of control right now as far as what people think these officials got ties with and who's cleaning the scene now when you look here you see the harris county they talk about the 22 year old man which is little cam he's still awaiting a bond hearing for weapon charges stemming from a shooting at downtown houston bowling alley now it gets even further more it says cameron isaiah joshua was taken into custody on november 22nd on an unlawful carry of a weapon charge 
following previous felony convictions in California. In court Wednesday, y'all seen them already on the video, which I'm gonna play more. Prosecutors say they have surveillance video and an eyewitness confirming that Joshua was at the party with a weapon. So right there, they're just focusing on the weapon situation, as you can see. And they went more further, as you guys can. I'm gonna let y'all read that. I'm because I want to play the other video right quick. If y'all don't mind me right quick now salute to everybody in here shout out to everybody's doing their part as far as getting right information that's needed if you don't mind me saying needed rapper takeoff was shot and killed in houston a man who was there that night has been arrested on gun charges cameron joshua has not been charged in takeoff's death he made his first court appearance this morning kprc 2's rochelle turner lays out what's expected to happen next the attorney representing Cameron Joshua says he was at the club, but has nothing to do with the shooting. Wearing an orange jumpsuit, 22-year-old Cameron Joshua appeared before judge Wednesday morning. Prosecutors say they have surveillance video and an eyewitness who says Joshua had a gun and he was present when rapper Takeoff was killed earlier this month at a Houston bowling alley. No one has been charged in Takeoff's death, but Joshua is facing two charges of carrying a weapon. We believe Cameron Joshua has been appropriately charged in this case, and we're continuing our investigation into the death of Takeoff. His attorney, Christopher Downey, says the DA's office would have charged him in the shooting if they believe he was involved. I haven't seen anything to suggest that Cameron Joshua had anything to do with the shooting. In April, Joshua was charged with burglary of a motor vehicle. According to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, Joshua and a second suspect tried to burglarize a man's car at a gas station in Northwest Harris County. As for today's case, Joshua's bond hearing is scheduled for next week. Mr. Joshua was on bond for a uh, an unrelated matter, uh, uh, possessing a fake ID, and uh, the case was uh, reset to determine conditions of bond, whether he'll be held uh, at no bond because he's alleged to have committed an offense while on bond, or whether he'll be given a reasonable bond. Downey did not say if Joshua or Takeoff had any prior relationships. He also wouldn't say if his client was playing dice. We will continue to follow this story and keep you posted on when his next bond hearing will be. Reporting from downtown, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Now, as you can see what she said there, and, and you feel me, the uh, uh, situation that came to light was what you seen. They said he was just there for the weapon charge in the situation. Now, the separate video I gotta make, y'all know I'm about to go in. This is just a cliffhanger and y'all seen everything how it is we got a lot of videos we're gonna have to do and talk about like for instance this one here is maybe cam is innocent maybe he's not guilty we don't do that over here on this platform but what i find uh, and, and, and congratulations to anybody to get a victory you know what i mean we're not out here to denigrate anybody we just give the news but for the prosecutor to say what he said in that situation as far as you know what i mean um we don't believe he's the one so do you mean that you have actual video inside the bowling alley and who pulled the trigger because it's confusing the only way you can't believe someone did anything you would have to know other information that was given which i do believe go watch my other videos y'all we've been telling you about multiple witnesses that same night were speaking with investigators and also got taken into the houston police department offices we talked about we've even heard um the monroe show had one of the witnesses who actually had a conversation with the department I mean, Houston would have declined that she had a conversation with them if that was the case, but they didn't. So it's, it's substantiated what she was saying. Now, I think they will break this case, but a lot of connections with the mayors and, and everybody's being in, uh, 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 having ties with mob and everybody is making a lot of folks down in the A and just around the world uncomfortable with who's leading the charge on this. Now, this is why I told other bloggers, don't say you've seen him pulled the trigger because you guys were mad at me when you said oh he did pull the trigger i said maybe he did but i don't know on the video you guys sent me i did not see him pulling the trigger i just seen him with a pistol just like everybody else 
you feel me but on that note we're still gonna keep covering this case and we're gonna keep updates because we think little cam is about to be a star for different reasons with these prosecutors because i'm gonna play a video which you heard one of his own lawyers said that's gonna have people thinking that are they trying to get him to flip snitch or did he or not because i'm not putting that jacket on nobody but we did hear what the attorney said and we're gonna get into that look man i'm your guy dj bless one go follow pesh mayweather one time for the family man salute to everybody for rocking with the movement salute to i smoke hip-hop nation i'm your guy dj bless one love your family love your kids and definitely stay blessed listen i don't gotta tell you how to not stay dangerous or stay dangerous if you're staying safe already blessing to the kings and queens